Okay, here we have the small engine control and uh, alternator regulator board. We can see the main board here, the remote here connected by a CAT5. Remote switches would be connected here to indicate to turn on the generator or water maker functions. This particular device is used to download firmware into the controller board. It's a USB to a serial converter. It would plug into this service port here. We have the FET drivers and, and for the alternator and for fuel pumps and throttle control. Uh, switching regulator, Amtel CPU that is loaded with the Arduino programming environment. The, along here we connect temperature probes. I've attached two of them, one to monitor the engine temperature if you will, getting a little bit of heat from my laptop, as well as another one here to report what the battery temperature is. Along this area here we can connect up local switches sampling the input from the alternator to the from the stator as well as current shunts, battery voltage and exhaust gas temperature uh, K-type uh, probes. And here is where we connect up to the engine itself things such as the fuel pump, throttle control, uh, starter and field control for the alternator itself. With this here I'm simulating how a the DC generator with its battery will respond. Just wrote a little simple program in the UNO to monitor field input and then slowly adjust the reported back battery voltage as well as current using various level shifters. And here we can see the dreaded INA220s. This is a fairly small screwdriver as you can see by my hand, but even so the INAs are really very tiny parts. Uh, soldering turned out okay, but uh, I sure do wish they had been available in a larger package.